Right, so this is carrying on with the Android stuff. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through the action bar. I'm going to explain what it is. Then I'm going to show you how to implement it, show you how to hide it, show you how to um, set the title, and also set an option menu. Okay? Um, so let me just explain how I found out about the action bar. So I was porting over an iOS app built entirely out of navigation windows. Come to Android and Android doesn't have navigation windows. What Android does have though is it has something called an action bar and this is a bar that stays at the top of the screen and it is persistent throughout the app. So if I just read a short line from the Android site, they say the action bar is the command and control center for your app. The action bar surfaces the most important actions for the current view and it may include simple controls for switching between views. So let me get right into it. So let's look at the code. So we've got app.js and start.js, so the only two files we're going to look at. So app.js is just the same as a lot of the videos we've gone through, including this module, calling this function from the module. All this is going to do is it's going to open a window. Okay, so let's go into here. This is that function, and it opens this window. It's very simple, just a simple window with a dark grey colour. Right, so let's have a look. So the main thing is we we set up the action bar with this open event. So when this window opens, we're going to get the action bar here. So the activity dot action bar we put it into this then what we do is we do it if and we check does an does the action bar exist so if it does which it should what we can do is we can set the title we set the icon this one where we set display home as up I put it as false if you put it as true it will show um, Oh, actually, I'll show you this to begin with. We'll put it as true. Right, so that's the action bar. And then we have this option menu that we're setting up. So again, we get the activity for the window. We put it into this variable. Then we are creating the options menu. Now, the option menu can take one menu item or it can take multiple. I'm putting two here initially, but if you put, say, six, what it will do is it will add a sort of um, a couple of dots and then when you click that it will expose the hidden items so as you can see here one of the parameters is show as action if room so what that means is it will show the icon if there's room on the bar if there's not it will go into this it's sort of a more button I guess so we're adding these two menu items and here are their events then at the bottom this is the event for the home icon and I'm going to show you the app in a sec but I am just thought I'd go through it quickly and then what I've done is to simulate opening a second window which I could have just opened a second window but I've done, I've done a timeout and all this is is this is simulating me opening another view or another window just another thing where the items in the action bar would need to change so what I'm doing is in this timeout I'm changing the title, then I'm destroying the option menu and then recreating it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just open the app now. So what you'll see when it starts is this is the action bar here. These two items <laughs> changed. Right, so the first two items were this is the option menu on the right, sorry. This is the title, this is the main button here. And where I set the parameter to true, it's given us this arrow. So if we change that to false, let me change that to false and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that timeout. So we'll turn that to false. Let's just comment out this timeout for now. And then I'll show it once more and then I'll explain how to change the option menu. So what we've got is we've got the title here and this would represent whatever is on screen at the moment. So if you were in 
a section of the app which shows the user's profile, then maybe that would say their name or would say profile. It's one of them. So these two icons here, I've, they're images that I've created, but they, they don't have to be the same, basically. So each of these, this is part of, these are action buttons, part of the option menu, right? So they each have their own events, and also this has its own event. Now, generally, at the, at the moment, on most apps, when you click this, it's going to reveal some sort of sliding view that comes across. And the majority of the time, the view will be under the action bar and come across the content below it. So yeah, but it doesn't have to. That could do anything. So that's why I've just put an alert on that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to change this options menu. Because say you open a new view and you don't want it to have these two icons. Like that, that could be refresh and that could be search. Maybe on this new view you open, you don't want it to have anything at all. So... Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll close that. Actually, let's keep it to the side. Let's go up here again, right? So we'll go through this again, right? So let's get it up. Right. So to set the title, you just need to make sure you put the you have the action bar. I've put it in this variable here. So get it and you do dot set title. Really simple. Put whatever you want. Set the home icon, which is this, the three lines. Just again, set icon and give it a path to the image. The, angular bra the angle bracket, that was what we had first when I set that to true, and we had that little bracket there. So I've put it to false. I mean, I, I, my preference is to have it as false. I don't really like it when it's true. It just seems to take up a bit of space, and it's not necessary, I don't think. Right, so creating the option menu what we looked at before so you get the activity in a variable and you put dot on create options menu then what you do is you pass it this if if you didn't want any options there then you wouldn't call the the function but what you can do is say uh, I'll show you in the timeout actually I won't go through that now I'll show you in a sec so yeah so this is the same so it's got set icon then you can give it its event listener and then when, when you're adding the menu, you give it a title, and then I don't, I don't think you have to do this, but I think it's a best practice if there's going to be more than one, is you do show, show as action, and that other then the value for that is show as action if room. And that's the same as what I explained a minute ago. If you put in multiple icons there, this will show it on the action bar if there is room for it. It's that simple. Right, so, oh yeah, and this event at the bottom, this is the home icon. So you do, for this, it's set on home icon, item selected. It's a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, but that's how you put a function in the on click of that. So anyway, let's go down, right, so let's uncomment this again. Right, so we're uncommenting this. I'm going to load up the app once more. And what's going to happen is after five seconds, we're going to change the title. Then we're going to recreate the options menu. Now, to do this, it's, it's not obvious at first. But what you need to do is you need to do this. And this is invalidate options menu. If you don't do this, you won't be able to change it. So what you do is you get the activity. Then just do dot invalidate options menu. Then beneath that create the new menu that you want so I'll show you that so this is one of the reasons why I just I can't stand the Android emulators at the minute um, so you can see this error I'm getting not enough free space on the device and I know there are ways of sorting it out I'm not going to go into them now but for the purpose of the video I'm just going to leave it and I'm just going to explain how to I'm just going to carry on without showing the, em the emulator Right, so what would have happened then is the app would have loaded up and it would have been the same as when we very first opened it at the beginning. You'd have seen the initial title and the initial two buttons in the option menu. And then after five seconds, the title would have changed. The menu would have been destroyed. Then straight away, we would have created a new one and it would have had just one, one um, action button. 
if you wanted to load up a, a new view and you didn't want it to have any options at all then what you can do is you do the same here you invalidate the options menu then here what you do you just pass it that just pass this create options menu and pass it as empty and then what that will do is that will clear it out and then you'll still be able to when you go to another view throw two more buttons back up there or whatever you want but okay so I'm gonna leave it there because the emulator is not playing so yeah I right, I hope that was helpful